G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of Digital Scrapbooking HQ.com, and today we're here with Adobe Photoshop Elements 13 to walk you through some of the new features. Let's head to the photo editor. In Photoshop Elements 11, we switch to three modes of editing in the editor. We've got the quick mode, where you can make quick fixes to your photo, guided edits that take you through a variety of different um, processes in step-by-step -step manner, and then the expert mode, which is what I use most of the time for digital scrapbooking. Today we're going to have a look at the guided edit, and we're going to head to the touch-ups menu in the panel on the right, and we're going to restore an old photo. Let's open an old photo. Click on the restore old photo and the first thing we're going to do is crop our photo. It suggests a crop but I'm going to refine that a little bit and click the green check mark when I'm happy. Then I'll go to spot healing. This is to repair small spots and tears. So I'm going to go along here and just do a few repairs. Most of the repairs in this image are quite small. So it's working well. With the guided edit mode, the order of the steps is quite um, simple to follow and you'll get best results most of the time if you follow those instructions or those step-by-step -step guides on the right hand side there. But if you ever need to, you can jump back and do different steps in orders if you ever need to, you can jump back and go through the steps in a different order. But I know the dust and scratches will be needed. So by default it suggested a blurring level. We can always change that, but I'm happy with how that looks. If you hold, if you click and hold your mouse down, you'll see the before and after. So let's click OK. It's looking good. Now it comes to the levels. Auto contrast, auto color correction. That's really made it a lot colder. And of course, you can always convert it to black and white. Now, if you do something like that that you don't want, you can press Ctrl Z or click the large undo button to go back a step, or you can reset your image by clicking this reset image button at the top here. And then we can finally sharpen our image. Right, we'll click done when we're finished. Now usually I'd head over to the expert mode and continue to work on a few things. For example, I might do hue saturation adjustment. Now of course I could do this in um, a quick edit mode as well. So we just want to reduce the red saturation a little. And I'll grab my red eye tool and just fix those red eyes here. And you can see there's quite a big difference. Much more true to life colours. We can even fix that red eye as well. So you see there's quite a lot of difference there. And although it's not perhaps perfect restoration, it's pretty good for less than 10 minutes work. And of course you can always go ahead and use more advanced tools in the expert mode. Or you can head back to quick mode and do some more adjustments to get it looking exactly how you like it. So there's a, just a quick look at just one of the many touch-ups you can do in the guided edit mode. These edit modes as well as the quick edit modes have had a lot of work in Photoshop Elements 13 so if you found them to be not quite intuitive or not doing what you'd expect in Photoshop Elements 12, I recommend you give them another go. 
You can learn more about Photoshop Elements 13 at digitalscrapbookinghq.com.